Hey everyone, welcome back to the LA Note. I'm Isabella Bedoya, the music correspondent, and I'm here today with Brian Maurice. So first of all, welcome Brian on the show. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you Isabella, how are you doing? Awesome, I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for being here. For those of you guys that don't know, Brian actually, jack of all trades in the entertainment industry, and he's been featured in the LA Note before. So Brian, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what you do? I do production, I do writing, I do acting, I've done music, I, I've done just really literally everything. I love to entertain. That That's who I am. That's amazing. What's your favorite out of all of them? My favorite, honestly, is production. I've come to love producing, whether that be producing music or producing a film or even producing my own television show, which I have done before. So wow. it's yeah, it's I love the creation side of it. Acting is fun and writing's fun and doing music's fun, but actually getting there to to either make an idea come to life. That's what I love doing. Yeah, that's really cool. How did you even get into production? Oh, I, so I was up in Oregon for a while and I was acting up there and wasn't really getting what I felt should be the roles that I needed to get. I was either the sidekick or the funny guy or just ne never what I wanted. So I got together a like-minded group of people and we just decided that we were going to create whatever it may be, whether that be a film or a music album or whatever, we were gonna make something. So we just decided that whoever had the first script was gonna get ready to go. So. I had it and got together the people and got some cameras and some actors and a little bit of money and kind of shot it and went from there. <laughs> That's incredible. That is really cool. And it just sounds to me that it was like you just created your own path. Yes. Yes, that's amazing. That's, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> that's amazing. This is actually really inspiring because a lot of the people, especially in the music industry or just even actors and, and the entertainment world, really, people feel like there's a lot of gatekeepers and stuff like that. But what kind of pushed you to be like, you know what, I'm just going to create my own way? Honestly, and this is going to sound, and, and it might sound kind of, it might sound a little bad and, and divisive. I, I don't want to say that, but. Being a young black, it forced me to, I had to realize that, hey, I'm gonna have to work twice as hard to get where I have to go. Work twice as hard to get where I have to go and things aren't always gonna be easy. So the easiest way to do this is I need to not just be one thing. I have to be, like, like you said, a jack of all trades and I have to create my own path. Nobody's gonna be the biggest cheerleader except myself and have to just created my own and it pushed me to just make my own stuff. Really, that literally. Yeah, that's really powerful because especially now in today's world with social media, we all have the power to do that. And that's really inspiring that you were able to do that for yourself and really take a stand in what you believe in and just get it out there and get it done. What motivates you? What keeps you going? What keeps me going are the people like me, the people that just need the opportunity. Just opened in January, opened up a television network and streaming side of my business. We're on Roku and Apple TV and we specialize in independent content. So what I love is I love finding independent music. Like I have Alicia Goku and my friend Hef Music from way back in high school. He makes music videos. We have, I like finding things like that in, in independent films and web series that maybe Netflix said no to, or need a bigger look, or need an audience, or just need some love. And I love giving those people the opportunity and the platform to, to showcase what they've done. That's what keeps me motivated is people doing work and getting told no, and I get to tell them yes. It's almost like you're like the hero of their story. That's really cool. And from all of the people that you've been working with and all the creatives and stuff like that, like how do you even find them? We scour like, YouTube or the internet or Facebook where I find posts, like I've found posts before of people that are like, hey, I just shot this movie and I'm gonna premiere it on YouTube. And I'm like, uh-uh, don't do that. They're not gonna pay you. How about this? You come with me, I'll premiere it. I have this channel, we're on Roku, we're on Apple TV. We have a mobile app, we have all the stuff. We're gonna pay you what you should be paid and we're gonna market you the way that you should be marketed. So we just, like finding random people that we think need a bigger push or content that we like that speaks to us. And we can just send them a, hi, 
How are you? Do you need distribution? Yeah? Okay, cool. Do you want your music video show or your Twitch stream or whatever you're doing? We want to put it, we want to get an audience on it. Absolutely. That's really, that's so incredible. And for anyone who's watching this right now, what is one piece of advice that you could give that particular content creator, essentially, in, in those shoes of, I wish someone would just pick this up. What are some things that you look for? I look for being genuine. Just be you. Don't cater to one thing that I do in my personal work that I've shot, that I put out there on TV. I had a show, One Strange Happy. It was on Amazon Prime. They weren't paying me, so I made my own network. So I was like, you're not paying me, I'll make my own. So don't pander to your crowd. If you have a story, tell your story. If you have a, a song, t tell your song. I want to hear an album that speaks to you, that you wrote, that you love, right? That you wrote from the soul. If you're making music out there, personally, I love old school music. Like, I love all the new, the trap and mumble rap and stuff, but tell a story. I love a good story. T tell a story, make it mean something, and let it speak from the heart, and the rest will come. Never be about money, be about good art. Because if you're about good art, the money will come. People like me and Netflix and other people will find you and they will give you that chance. But don't be about the money, be about the art. This is actually so powerful because it's easy to lose sight, especially when you're trying to figure out how to even pay for your bills and make a living from your art. It's so easy to lose sight of who you truly are. So I think that's really valuable advice that you're giving out. Tell us a little bit more about maybe some upcoming projects or anything that you're working on right now. Sure. So I have a movie that is coming out that I've worked on called Company of Shadows. It's a LGBTQIA movie. So it really speaks to the community. Myself, I'm pansexual. So it speaks to the community and who I am and just a lot of things as a whole. I'm working on a new horror movie that's coming out. We're working with a couple of really good artists. Kelsey Noreen, she's a really good artist. Just got married, congratulations, Kelsey. She's a really good country artist. She's gonna be transitioning over into R&B and we're gonna be helping her do that. So be on the lookout for her as well. Got a couple commercials, got a couple TV shows that I'm working on. I can't really talk about too much, but just be on the lookout for Brian Maurice and Second Team Entertainment. And we're gonna have a, a lot of really good content that's coming out soon. Awesome. And I know you just mentioned your handle. Is that your handle all over social media? Like all the that channels? Is, that is Brian Maurice. And then my company name is Second Team Entertainment, but it's the two in D, like the number two second. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, Brian, if there's one thing that you could give people any advice on motivation, anything like that, maybe something we haven't even touched on, what would that be? Always live your dream, no matter what. Make your dream become a reality. If somebody tells you no, there's always somebody else who's going to tell you yes. Like, it's never going to be a forever no. So always strive to, to do whatever it is that you want to do in life, whether that's music, entertainment, movies, being a fireman, policeman, or, or president, whatever. Do live your dream and it will come true. It literally will. I am living proof. I am 34 years old from Baltimore and I live in Beverly Hills now. Like it comes true, guys. It really does. You just have to push and work and never give up. The second you give up, it's over. Never give up. That, that's really the one thing I can say is never ever give up, push, strive, and don't be afraid to take advice either. Wow, that actually, just from our conversation just now, you can tell that that's actually words you live by, right? Like, you carved your own path, you're the person that says yes to the people that said, got no's. This is really cool. This is really inspiring, Brian. Thank you so much for sharing your story. If you have content, whether that be music, a film, a TV series, a Twitch stream, it really doesn't matter. Any kind of content that you have shot, even something on your phone, please hit us up. It's for Second Team Entertainment. Please just hit us up and we will help you. We'll help you develop, we'll help you market. You got a movie that you're getting ready to do. We'll help fund it, we'll help crew it, we'll help do pre-production, post-production. Whatever you need in the entertainment business, please come to me. I'm gonna treat you with the love and respect that you deserve. Thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate you for being here today. Of course, thank you. Thank you really so much for having me. Thank you.